If you are just tuning in, folks, then this is The Citadel. My name is Joel Duggan, and this is a Minecraft multiplayer server where I do geeky stuff in Minecraft with my friends, and we are staring at the road to the gold farm. And uh, this staircase goes underneath the lava and takes you all the way into the center of the gold farm where you can then access and use the farm. But we moved the stairs. Uh, we moved it back by about oh, that many blocks. And uh, right now, it's a nice straight shot from the top of the platform uh, down through this great big hole that we made in the lava, but we have to finish the staircase. We've got to dig this part out here at the bottom and line things up. I want to finish off the lava waterfall thing that's happening here and try to go all the way down to bedrock just because I think that's cool. It's a, it's a neat aesthetic. Uh, I actually don't remember how I did that, so it's going to be a bit of a learning curve. Uh, first thing we need to do is block this lava off so we don't cook, uh, and then we're going to dig out the side of the stairs and see where we can go from there. So first things first, we need to make some stairs and um, replace these cobblestone stairs because it's bugging me. I'm not sure if it's bugging you, but it's bugging me. Let's see if we can't replace some of these guys and then we will know underneath what we're dealing with, which I think is just nether rack as far as I can tell. Yeah, it looks like. I think we're gonna need more than eight. Oh no, it should be good. Eight is precisely enough. Very rarely. Do you make just enough uh, where you don't have any extra? Although I have to say, uh, that's going to be a nice feature of, I believe it's the stone cutter on uh, on the 114 update, which is going to be hopefully soon. They seem to be getting really close to a release on that. They're released preview versions, to say the least. Uh, and so the stone cutter allows you to make one thing at a time, which is really cool. I quite enjoy that. So I think if I get rid of this we should be okay yeah i'm just gonna drink this fire resist potion just i'm just gonna do it otherwise i can see myself getting caught in there and things going very very badly hey there's pineapple princess hello welcome welcome and mike is here too Am I brave enough to run 114 as soon as it releases? Uh, I don't see why not. Uh, I'm also smart enough to make backups of the server. Uh, so uh, I'm, I'm OP on the server, so I can do that. Uh, so that's more than likely the way that we will go uh, for that is we'll just um, make a backup, do the update, see what's up. There, there might be some problems. We, we may not do it like day one. Um, but we will certainly uh, do it as soon as we can. Uh, the nice thing about the Citadel being a casual server is that um, day one is is very likely not an option. It, it could be in the middle of the week. It could be like people might not be playing. I might not have time to update. So it really depends on how, how and when that update happens. Uh, and then I will be able to, um, to, to do it properly. So we may end up with a little bit of a leeway. Uh, and Whoa, I knew I was going to do that. That's not what I meant to do. Uh, let's block that one. Yeah. Oh, the quickness of lava in the nether and the slowness at which it disappears. Fun times. So if I was to look at you know, what we had done previously with the stairs... The idea was that the glass, I think, went down farther. Like, I think the old stairs were here. I think the stair was there. So it looked like the lava was going underneath it. So if that's the case, then the block at a diagonal from the stair has to be hollow. So we just do this as a one for one stair going up, which means this is going to go. And I probably don't have to do, I don't have to do terracotta, but I'm probably going to. So I'm thinking like maybe there, it's going to get covered up. I've got a funny feeling that it's going to get covered up by, oh no. That has to be terracotta because that has to be glass, right? So 
I was correct. All of this has to be terracotta. Down to there. And then maybe even here too. Because then on top of that, there will be glass like this. So, hmm, wait a minute. Maybe those, maybe that isn't terracotta. Maybe that's just glass with lava going underneath it. Because the lava is going to be coming into that space there. Yeah, okay. I did that wrong. Mistakes were made. Sorry, right. mistakes can be unmade. I want the lava to come in there. I guess at this point I could just put terracotta underneath the stairs. Won't be able to see it, I don't think. But there's only a handful of blocks. And if you ever could see the corner of it or something, then I would be cheesed off. Well, I mean, these ones obviously we have to do. Like that. So this needs to be hollow. We'll remove these. And so it's not that there is glass that goes there, but there is glass that goes here. So then the lava will come down here and across there. So let's test that out by removing that. Right. So that's the look that we want. And if we did it again here with this, then it didn't flow. It flows down there. So we need to get, why did it flow down there? Path of least resistance, I think. So right here, I wanted the lava to flow across that way. And there's nothing there to stop it. It's just that it flows down. Hmm. So how did I do it before? See, this is the problem when you're redoing something. It's like I was fiddling with this for ages before I actually figured it out. So I'm not sure exactly how or why to go about this. But let's just do glass and we'll just test it you need to start at the top i think uh yeah we can test that out and see what's up there because yeah maybe maybe one is all we need like if we did well i knew that was going to happen let's get rid of that we can fix that later actually we pro probably fix it now Okay, so we can now remove these, like that. So if I was to start it here, I guess I have to get in here first. So that's what we want. And then if we do it one by one, I think the problem is this back wall has to be just so, right? Like this has to be that. And then I can fill that in. I can take out this, but then maybe fill that in. And then take these out and that that must have something underneath it right like that's what's going on there so if I do that and then this forces it sideways I think that's what I want if I go down here and look up 
I think that's what I want. Because then after you finish these, I think I want it to go like that. I don't know this this looks like it's been it came out farther, but it's probably just because the old stair was out there. I think I'm okay with that. I mean, if nothing else, I could always just put one. I could put one little block there, but I guess it depends on what the circle looks like up here, right? So this is five wide. So I may I may end up putting a piece of terracotta there, but for now, look good. Uh, thank you, Mokhtok, for the suggestion of starting at the top. Yes, I agree that that is. That was the problem. There was, uh, I think we have to do is is fill these in temporarily and then remove this stuff like that. And then fill it in to get the look that we want. Cool. Well, now that I know the process for this, I'm just going to keep on trucking and eventually this whole side will look exactly the way that we want. Hmm. At this point, I had it do a very specific flow and I don't remember what the configuration was. So I think what we need to do here is we need to take this out and I need to Place these, which should take out some of the lava there. I think I probably have to take out a good chunk of this floor to really get access here. So if I put something here and there, and then if there's something underneath that, that should reduce some of it and then there there must be a couple of lava sources here from what I can tell that's right we can just do something new we don't have to copy the exact way the old one was oh it's just gonna back up Ugh. <laughs> okay this is going to be tedious. All right, I think I have to put walls in, so we'll have to do a temporary to do a temporary access here. So let's just come out into some place where it's safe, like here, and we'll put in a temporary temporary ladder. Always a fun trick if you uh, if you're hard pressed to do stuff. Uh, where is my utility? There we go. In the Nether is using sand or gravity blocks to get yourself easy access to things. Works out very very well. Now I used to be able to do this. I don't know if I still can, but sometimes you can get on a ladder and you can if you can catch yourself. You can sometimes go down below and do like a second ladder and catch yourself. And then you can go back up and do that. No fall damage. I mean, less less of a problem right now because we had something safe to land on, but still not bad. Uh, yeah, so in here we need to we need to just do like a temporary a temporary wall. I think of protective nether rack, we'll call it. And we'll just go up here like this. This is the section that needs to go straight down to bedrock starting here. I'm just trying to decide whether it's three wide or five wide. I think it has to be five wide. What does the side look like? Oh yeah, it has to be seven wide because we have to make room for the lava. So five and then seven, okay. So from here back, we should be okay. Yeah, 
looks like we're good. For anybody that's wondering, we're underneath a lava lake. That's why there's just so much lava everywhere. So there's the five. Let me put a block there for now. And we need to go another block on this side. Oh, knew that there was a reason that was there. Let's just put glass on both sides. So we can see what's up. And now we should be able to take out most of this. I was thinking the other day about uh, 114 and some of the plans that I've got for uh, the Citadel with regards to uh, like the sci-fi section and some of the new places that we want to build. And I'm really looking forward to um, unlocking some of the, I guess, more accessible building tools that you have. Things like slabs and stairs are nice, but like just being able to dye wool a certain way, being able to put different color signs in different places, you know, like just if you've got something that's kind of like a light colored build, like a lot of stripped birch, it's going to be nice to be able to use a birch sign as opposed to an oak sign when you need to. And there's a lot of little things that I think are going to go a long way uh, to help make 114 um, very, very builder friendly. So... Uh, I'm looking forward to a lot of that, those like subtle changes uh, as much as I like, you know, and want new blocks, of course. Um, I definitely do feel like there is a lot to be said about like the way that they're simplifying some of the utilities. You know, the, the new um, crafting blocks are a good part of that too, like the stone cutter that I mentioned earlier. Uh, those are, I mean, those are going to be invaluable for like, you know, people that have they don't have a monstrous farm. They don't have infinite access to, you know, quartz and things like to, to not be wasting materials is going to be, I think, super handy for people that have like limited time to build and don't want to spend all of their time just gathering stuff. Uh, you discussed it a bit on the podcast. Minecraft lends itself to medieval style. Being a modern builder is challenging sometimes. Ah, I see what you mean. Uh, one of the reasons why I have the texture pack on the glass, the connected glass I do, is because I do enjoy a more modern look to the glass. I don't like the um, don't like the little dashes that they put. Although I have to say, like the new default glass is much better than it used to be. You can see through it a lot better, which I like. Um, my glass texture is 32 bit, which means that the little line on the outside is quite thin compared to what would be considered a Minecraft pixel. So um, that's one of the few times that I go up to a 32 bit texture is uh, is on the glass. But yes, I agree. I think that there could be more more options for smoother textures um, for things in Minecraft. They don't do um, they don't lend themselves to to anything outside of um, medieval stuff very well. There's not a lot of options. Um, I want there to be more like smooth. Uh, I don't necessarily want concrete stairs. I mean, I guess I do, but that sort of seems like an easy way out. Um, but I wish there was more in terms of just blocks that had um, some texture, but were not like as noisy as nether rack or bricks or meant to look like stone or medieval. Like I kind of feel like they could do they could do with some blocks that were just textured, but smoother, you know? A good example is like the coal block. I mean, people don't build with it a lot, but it's a good, it's a good dark block with some texture to it, but there's not a lot of, you can use it in context. It'll be, it could be perceived as a bunch of different things. It feels very bright and dangerous down here. I can tell you that right now. Yeah, see, at least up here now, I should be able to remove this, 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 that, and that. I can't remove that one, but these ones I can get rid of. And then I should be able to bring this across like this and close this up. So now, if I wanted to, I could come across here and all this should just flow straight down.